Hey everyone, and welcome to What's Old Sunday. <laughs> I am Dollar Dr. Jennifer, and we are starting the year off right, I guess. Um, except for me, I've had a knee issue and now I'm sick again. So uh, hopefully my voice will last through this. <laughs> but um, we had some good sales over the last two weeks, and I'm pretty excited about some of them. A lot of older items, which I'm always happy to get rid of. Uh, if you want to see my setup for this, uh, just check out my Instagram, Dr. QDBM, um, because it's pretty gettified right now. <clears throat> I'm on a bunch, I'm piled on top of a bunch of Ikea bags. Anyway, I hope everyone is having a good weekend. We are snowing snow not even snow it's ice it is we are iced in <laughs> thank you janet uh i don't like wearing my glasses but when i'm sick i don't really like having my contacts in so here we are <laughs> um it is icy it is cold and my dog refuses to go outside <laughs> so good times here i will probably be cleaning up something in the house later because of it. Hey, Wendy. Hi, Glamma. And hi, Janet. Welcome. Uh, so thank you all for coming. I uh, hope you enjoy the sales that I've had. And hopefully it's helpful. Uh, it's randomly like I've sold a lot of boots in the last week. Um, and spoiler alert, you saw it in my video yesterday. I have made all my money back on my thread up fun box. So I sold two items out of the box already in that um, made me my money back. And obviously I will let you know which items those are. So <clears throat> all right, I'm just gonna get started because I don't know how long my voice is gonna last. So Hey, Thrift Generation, thank you for coming. It is so cold. Uh, the fireplace is probably going on in a little bit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I feel bad. Um, it was actually a fairly good fun box. I was really sad for Glamma's fun box. I just want to say that. <laughs> Glamma. Glamma definitely um, got some, what was it? What did I say it was? Garage sale items thrown in a box. <laughs> so our first sale, uh, let's see. I got to go the opposite way. The first sale was this fun Earth Day birthday gray graphic t-shirt, size extra large. It sold for $11. It worked out well for everybody and she loved it. So, you know, sometimes that's all you need is someone to love it. Yeah, I actually was dying when I saw those pajamas glam because I was like, oh my gosh. <coughs> <clears throat> Those would make her very happy. <laughs> Our next item, sorry, I'm a little slow today, um, was this Calvin Klein leather faux snakeskin pattern belt, size extra large. It had a little bit of wear to it, but it was pretty nice. Um, it did have like actually all the information on it, which is nice for a belt. Um, this sold for 15, it sold for 15. Yeah. $15. I ended up making $11 and 46 cents on it. And it took about six months to sell. I got a lot of offers on this before, like pretty low ones. Um, but I was tired of sitting on it. So I did accept this $15 offer and now it is gone away. And I'm going away because I'm hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> yes. 
I was I was sad that they weren't your size though because I know you would have like put them on in the video if they had been your size. <laughs> All right, our next is these Nike Pro Dry Fit black leggings, size small. They sold for $20. Um, and I got an offer for $20, so I accepted it. I am making $15.46 on them, and they took about six months to sell. So that was another one I was happy about. Actually, I think I think someone um, had made me a lower offer, like 15. And I was like, eh, I just want to get rid of them. And then for some reason it didn't go through. And then someone bought them for 20. So I was like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so it is what it is. <clears throat> oh, it's so funny, Janet. Yes, it's exactly. <laughs> You're like, eh. Sure, that's great. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Our next sale was another belt. I did sell a couple belts. Um, this I actually got when I was working at the coast last year. Um, I'm sorry, I sound like a prepubescent boy for some reason all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> it's a genuine leather pink and orange stud belt, size extra large. <clears throat> it sold for $20. I like literally sound like, anyway, um, I ended up making $13 and 50 cents and it took about five and a half months to sell. So it was another one that I was pretty happy to get rid of. Um, I hadn't sold a lot from that Salvation Army haul. So anything was better than nothing at this point. Hey, Kim. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm glad you made it today. Yes, Thrift Generation. I have so many belts and ties that I need to get listed, and I put it off. Um, but, yeah, I I do. I mean, like, they don't weigh that much. Well, some of the belts I've gotten are, like, really stone bead heavy. But um, they don't weigh that much. So most of the stuff I get is from the bins. Um, and so it's worth picking up belts and stuff because – you don't pay very much for them and you can get, you know, a good amount of money for it. So that's my thing anyway. Next, I picked these up when I was in Florida with Glamma um, at the bins in Orlando. They are Torrid Platinum Black Faux Leather Leggings, size three. They sold for $20. Um, I ended up making $15.43 on them and they took about three months to sell. So that was definitely a good pickup. Most torrid stuff will sell over 20 um, unless you just have something that is kind of very plain, like a very plain t-shirt or something like that. These are really cute though. I debated about keeping them, but I didn't. I mean, I'm not going to wear those anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, hit the thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. All that stuff. <laughs> Sorry, reading chat. Uh, let's see. Next. Um, so I'll say it again. Don't sit on Margaritaville. Uh, I picked up this Margaritaville Cozumel black. Yes, I'm a pirate t-shirt size extra large. Um, the front says, yes, I'm a pirate. Um, it sold for $23. The back was actually really cool, too. Um, the back said 200 Years Too Late, which is a uh, Jimmy Buffett lyric, if you're unaware. Um, it's a good song. <clears throat> I do like Jimmy Buffett, actually. So it sold for $23 on an offer. So I ended up making $17.79 on this T-shirt, and it sold within a month. Um, if the... Margaritaville t-shirts have like a really cool graphic or tie-dye, anything like that. Definitely pick them up, like especially at the bins. Um, I've sold all of mine very pretty quickly and for over $20 for most of them. So it's definitely something to keep an eye out for. I don't know why they do so well. I guess, you know, parrot heads are everywhere. So 
definitely pick them up if you see them. Um, so I'll do leggings. Like I have a very large LuLaRoe legging collection, but uh, they were like faux leather. So they looked like fancy. I don't really, I'm not fancy anymore. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I would definitely put it up for sale if uh, you're not going to wear it. <laughs> Next was the first of my fun box sales. Um, they were these Aloe Yoga Goddess Leg Warmers, black, new with tags, size medium, large. They sold for $38. Um I think that was, was that full price? Let me see. Yeah, that was full price. <coughs> Excuse me. I ended up making $28.34 and they sold within two days of listing them. Um, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for the box, but I think it was less than, it was like $24 or so. So that covered the entire box. So everything I sell now is just completely profit pretty much. Um, but I did use my um, my average cost of goods for my box was two dollars and two cents, and I did keep one pair of socks, the Bomba socks. I did end up keeping for myself, so because I liked them. <laughs> but definitely those Aloe Yoga. I didn't even know what they were, but they're leg warmers. <laughs> I'm actually wearing gray sweatpants right now. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely keep an eye out, especially if they're new with tags. Um, I did look up, obviously, what they were, and I used the stock photo because, like, they look like just two limp black fish in pictures by themselves. So... Uh, next sale was this Victoria's Secret Lace Halter Baby Doll Lingerie, size medium. It only sold for $14, which I was kind of sad about, but it was like one of those things. It's been around for a while. It took nine months to sell. Um, I made $10.24. It is what it is. I do like to at least make $10 per um, sale, so I did make that at least. Um, I had it for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you haven't seen already, a couple of us were, um, not sponsored. Um, a couple of us are doing a, is it next? Hold on. I gotta look up the date <laughs> on January 26th. So 10 days from today, a couple of us are doing a lingerie valentine um outfit sale on treasures noir's live channel so if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff we're going to be doing auction and buy it now different fun outfits and stuff for valentine's day uh january 26th so keep an eye out for that it's going to be a super fun time i think glamour is selling as well and i don't know who else so if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, I do pick up a lot of bras and lingerie and things. So I will be selling those things on that day. I hope you come and join us. I think it'll be a good time and get some really sexy stuff for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> yep. What Glamour said. <laughs> Ladies night in. <laughs> I might be uh, doing some bathing suits as well because, you know, you need something for hot tub fun on Valentine's. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> uh, let's see. Our next sale were these express cropped straight high rise camo shorts, size six, raw hemline. They sold for $19. Um, 
I ended up making $14.59 on them. And they took about four to five months to sell. I don't, I think I forgot to put a date on there. Um, and then I had some nines. Was it nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, 10. I had 10 uh, buy, sell, trade sales, which uh, I went over in another video. So I will not be going over those today. Um, just kids clothing. So... Mm. Oh, you got the little thread up thing. Nice. I've definitely not spent that much on there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I thought about it, Glamour, but I did. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, people live in Florida. It's warm down there year-round. So I do list year-round. I'm listing swimwear right now. Um, so I, I just list what I have. <laughs> of course you have, Janet. Of course you have. <laughs> Our next sale are these Fergalicious. Wedge heel boots, size seven. I got these for free from a friend. I've had them for over a year. I finally sold them for $15. Thank goodness. Um, and it was with a shipping discount. So I made $10 and 50 cents. I've had them forever. So I, that was a GTFO by Felicia type sale for me. I was about to send them to thread up, honestly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't have death pile envy. Definitely not. I've got enough death pile of my own. This next one was also about to go to thread up. Um, it was also given to me for free by a friend. It's this loft outlet dark teal knit sweater, uh, size small. Um, it sold for $13. I ended up making $8 and 55 cents and it sold within a couple months. Um, I sold a couple of the loft sweaters she gave me, but I've got a couple more that I'm probably just going to send a thread up just so I don't have to deal with them anymore, basically, because I got them all for free. So it just gives me money to buy boxes, which I did just buy the DIY fabric box. And I'm wondering if I made a $26 mistake, but we'll see. I blame Alicia. I watched her video and she got some really pretty dresses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. I couldn't do it. I, I would, that would, I, oh my gosh, the anxiety, the anxiety. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, Next was a fun one. It was a vintage Jaclyn Ferrar black leather vest, size 3XL. Um, it sold for $28. Um, I did pay up a little bit for this at my honey hole. So I did only make $17.90 on it. Um, and it took about nine months to sell. So not the best, but I was happy to see it go. Oops. Ah, hit the wrong button again. Mine is in his kennel because he's become antisocial for some reason, and it's making me sad. <laughs> wow, that's funny. <laughs> All right, next sale. were these Lucky Brand Corduroy Charlie skinny pants, size six. Someone sent me an offer for 17. 
I just accepted it. Again, I've had these for 11 months. So it was, uh, I bought them at a buy, sell, trade store, having a sale. I try not to do that anymore just because every time I get stuff at one of those, it doesn't sell. But anyway, uh, I made $11.22. And like I said, it took 11 months to sell. So it was another one I was super happy to see leave. Yeah, it was a good size, but I find people just don't want to pay anything anymore. Like, you know, I get like a $10 offer. Oh, I'm not selling it for $10. So that sort of thing. I'm in a battle right now for my uh, Converse tie-dye shoes. Our next sale were these airy maroon chill play move leggings. Uh, the size small sold. I still have a size extra small. Um, they sold for $19, which is actually pretty good. Um, I ended up making $11.96 on them. And again, these took 11 months to sell as well. So another one I was super happy to get rid of. I do have one more pair. So hopefully they will sell soon too. Yeah, this is basically like what everyone, I mean, there's some things that sell right away where I'm like, that's weird. And then some things that sit and I'm like, I have a really pretty Betsy Johnson like cocktail dress that's been sitting for probably close to a year now. And I have no idea why. It was even worn by like some pop stars and stuff. So who knows? So, yeah, Lucky Brand is one of those that is hit or miss. I do have another pair of boots, Lucky Brand, that sold this week I'll be, that will be coming up. Um, I have a lot of stuff sitting that's Lucky Brand. The men stuff tend to do better. Um, I forget his name. There's a guy on YouTube who sells mostly men's stuff, and he did a – a uh, mall brand uh, thing the other day. Um, and he says he has good luck selling lucky brand men's. So I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> also, closet clear out is stupid. I can like lower the price of like 100 items and like none will sell. So. I'm mostly stopping closet clear out now because of that. What's up, Patrick? Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, next door is an, actually from the same place as that orange and pink belt. Um, these are Lau Lauf. These are Lauren Ralph Lauren gray cargo cinch pants, size 10. They had a very um, Y2K feel to them. They did sell for $24. Um, I ended up making $14.70, and they took about six months to sell. Um, I thought they were really cute, and they didn't get a lot of love, but someone did finally come and buy them. So, Yes, I think that's him, Thrift of Life. Yeah, I do like some of his videos, and I have downloaded his men's thing, or I did in the past. I don't know what I did with it. Um, he's very helpful, and he doesn't, like, charge people like some of the other people do. So I thought that was really cool. Exactly. Um, I do relist usually, depending on what it is. So, yeah. Yes, the menswear manifesto is his thing. I'm not good with words today. <laughs> I 
I mean, I have done this too, where you send the message, um, but I would say nine times out of 10, I get nothing. And it takes so much time to send messages to everybody. So. Next, we have a Spanx sale, Star by Spanx, shaping, le shaping leggings. I called it Blurple. It's like a blue purple size small. They sold for $36. Um, I ended up making $27.80 on them, and they took about six months to sell as well. Uh, I wasn't sure about these. I picked these up at uh uptown cheapskates like dollar sale um but they did end up selling and i was super happy with them so i would definitely pick them up again if i saw them like at the bins <laughs> i mean it is blurple <laughs> well yeah i do copy and paste but it still takes a lot of time. All right. Do to do, do blurple. On that note, our next sale was something else I got for free. It was a proven mulberry silk 3D face mask anti blemish. It sold for, um, that's what it looks like. It sold for, and that's what it looks like on a person. Uh, it sold for $13. Let's see. Uh, I did get it for free. So I ended up making $10 and five cents and it sold within a couple of months of listing it. Um, a friend of mine actually like was selling on Mercari cause she doesn't like Poshmark. Um, and she was going to be getting a foster child. And so she wanted to get rid of all her, her inventory. So she literally like gave it all to me. So I went through it and picked stuff that I wanted to keep and then um, donated or thread up to the rest of it. So, ah. All right. I'm messing up my computer here. All right. <laughs> I hate Macari. Macari and I are not friends. All right. Next was the second item that sold from my Thread Up Fun Box. And it was this pretty tapestry pashmina scarf, tassel fringe. Um, I called it a floral geometric pattern. Um, this had no brand or anything on it. It was really pretty though. Um, so I sold it for $12 on a counter offer. Um, so I ended up making $7 and three cents, but it sold within two days of listing it. So I was fine with it. Again, I already made all the money back on the aloe leg warmers. So I was a little bit more flexible. Plus it had no brand or any like fabric tag and she did give me a five-star rating and said she loved it so everyone is happy yeah i finally got mine out yesterday wendy so i was a little behind as well i had it all figured out i just didn't film it until friday <laughs> You can still be a reseller. You're just very part-time. <laughs> uh, so this was the other Lucky Brand sale. Um, these Lucky Brand Brea leather booties, dual zipper, size 11. They did sell. They were so buttery soft. They were so nice. Um, they did sell for 40 I ended up making $29.85 on them. <coughs> Excuse me. And they took... And they sold within 38 days of listing. 
I don't know if it's the color. I don't know like what it was about these boots that made them sell so fast. I've got a couple tan colored ones that are just sitting. So I really don't know what the lucky brand formula is on that, but these did sell and they were really nice. Or if it was the size, because they were bigger size. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, yeah, so you weren't here at the beginning. I um, spiked a fever yesterday and I have a cough. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um. So uh, it is ice outside, so I can't go anywhere to get tested for COVID, but uh, I don't know if I am, but pretty much everywhere I work, everyone's dropping like flies right now. So there is a possibility, <coughs> but if it is, it's, I mean, it could be worse. I'll just say that it could be a lot worse. So, but thank you for noticing. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh, the same boots? I don't know. Yeah, tan brown. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. The tan brown suede like doesn't seem to be doing it for people. I don't know what that's about, but it is what it is. Um, so this next sale was a super exciting one. Um, Noel Asmar Dulce gray uniform tunic jacket, extra, extra small. Um, I picked up about four of these, I think, um, in a haul last year. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. My, my voice is about to go. I think, um, so I picked about four of these. This was the smallest size it sold for, I got an offer for 20, accepted it. Um, I ended up making $15, 24 cents. It took over a year to sell, but I did sell. I've have sold all of them now. Uh, Noel Asmar. <coughs> Dance. They do really make really nice uniform stuff and they do have a following. So I definitely recommend picking them up. These were almost in like new condition. So highly recommend this brand. Um, they retail for like $80 or so. So if people can get them cheaper, they will. <clears throat> oh, you guys are silly. I can turn into Vera. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> um, next sale was made me really sad. Um, it was this nine lives cat artwork, original print. It sold for $15 on an offer. My ex gave this to me. Um, I was hoping to recoup a little bit more money than that. I did make $12. It's been listed for a long time. Uh, glam on and said people told me just to accept it and get it out of my life. So I did. Um, so yeah, that's that sale. <laughs> uh, so thrilled about it. <laughs> um, yes. He didn't paint it, but he bought it for me at an art thing. Because it had cats. Eh, whatever. Um, next was this jam collection by Jennifer Moore Knits embroidered palm tree sweater, size small. I think it was vintage. Um, I did get an offer for 15, which I didn't really want to accept, but I was having slow sales at the time. So I decided just to accept it, hoping for more sales. I made eleven dollars and thirty-nine cents, and it sold within about a month. So it wasn't bad. Um, it was one of those things I picked up that I really liked. I wasn't sure if it would resell well. So I was just happy kind of to be rid of it. So it is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish I could drink whiskey, but that would lead to other issues. <laughs> uh, 
<clears throat> All right. I think we only have a couple more. Oh my gosh. Next is actually a really good sale. Um, it was this HBO Entourage embroidered baseball hat, uh, one size with adjustable strap. Um, this is my new head model that I'm using. Um, she doesn't have a name yet, but she's been very good to me. Um, someone actually sent me an offer for 18. Is that right? Yeah. Someone sent me an offer for $18, uh, which I accepted. This sold within three days of listing it and I made $13 and 75 cents. So I was super happy with that sale. Um, I guess pick up HBO entourage hats. There really weren't that many listed actually, um, in the men's section of, um, Poshmark. I think there was only like a couple, so they seem to be few and far between, maybe. I don't know, but I'll take $18 for a hat that I got at the bins. I know RMP Betty White. I love Betty White. Um, our next was a bundle of four items. Um, the whole bundle sold for $150 and included this Marvel Deadpool black cotton t shirt, size 2X. Um, and it included. Uh, this moving comfort maroon pink sports bra size medium. And it included, <laughs> oh gosh, these Ann Taylor Metro black pants, faux leather sides, size too petite. And lastly, it included um, these amazing Kate Spade New York black leather Netta heeled booties, size 9B. Um, so like I said, all four items sold for $150. I just divided it out by, um, by four just to make my math easier in my spreadsheet. And so I just put each item sold for about $37.50, which is a lot for the Deadpool shirt, but it is what it is. Um, I made about $29 on each item. The Ann Taylor pants took over a year to sell. The Kate Spade shoes took 41 days to sell. The Deadpool shirt took 11 months to sell. And the bra took six months. So the best was the Kate Spade. I was a little hesitant to sell the whole bundle for 150 just because the Kate Spade shoes, but it is what it is. Um, I, you know, I couldn't turn down because of the other items I've had for a while. So, um, and overall I made about 116, $117 on the whole bundle. So I can't be really upset about that. <laughs> So, yeah, those were some good ones, but um, I sent that out yesterday, so hopefully it gets gets there pretty quickly. Yeah, the booties are super cute. A friend of mine was interested in them, um, but she didn't get them, so <laughs> I sold them. Um couple more. I think we got like four, three or four or five, four or five more. I have a lot more sales than I thought. Um, <laughs> so this is another one. Um, these, this actually I picked up in Florida when I was with Glamour as well. It was Switch Remarkable Streetwear Long Sleeve Superb T-shirt size large. Um, these like, excuse me, menswear, like streetwear type shirts that are kind of a little bit crazy stuff like that. I, 
I've had good luck with them. Um, I did get a $20 offer on these, which I accepted. I made $15.43. And it sold within 51 days, which isn't horrible. Less than two months. So I definitely will pick these up if I see them. A lot of these streetwear brands seem to have like somewhat of a following. So I'll take it. <laughs> you're a little behind Patrick if you're talking about Blurple um, next were these Sam Edelman black leather suede booty lace up shoes size 8 mare, mare ankle boot um, these sold for $28 um, it was an offer I was hesitant but I was like eh, just get rid of them I still made $21.64 on these and they sold within three months of listing them Another friend of mine was in, had been interested in them, but she decided she didn't need any more boots. So um, she didn't buy them. But uh, yeah, these are cute. Um, they were almost like a low riding boot look to them. So I was happy with that sale too. And I went to the wrong thing. Next was from the veterans thrift store where I sweated because <laughs> they had no AC in the middle of summer on my birthday road trip. But it was this Firefly postage stamp special delivery t-shirt size extra large. Um, it sold for $17 with a shipping discount. Yeah, with a shipping discount. I ended up making $11.10 and it took about six months to sell. Um, I think I've sold now everything from that trip like to the veteran store, except for one pair of um, pajama pants, men's pajama pants that say have sharks on it. And they say, it says bite me. <laughs> but everything else I've sold now, I think from that veteran store. All right. Next, there's only two more and this one doesn't hardly count. But um, next I sold... This <laughs> green bean catnip cat toy uh, that I got in my cat lady box. And um, it sold, someone sent me an offer for $5. So literally I didn't make any money really on it because the box cost, you know, 30 something dollars. So I put it as I didn't make any money on it, but it did sell and it is now gone. Well, it's actually in my dining room getting right waiting to get packed up since there's no mail till Tuesday and I can't leave my house with all this ice for a day or two. And then um, I had one sale this morning. Hey, Lisa. Thanks for coming. Oh, be as nosy as you want. Um, I like for people to know what's selling and for how much and how long it takes. <laughs> So, yeah, it's definitely a good time. I just, I sell everything. I sell hard goods. I sell clothes. I sell vintage. Um, so, yeah, you can check out some of my older What Sold videos, too, and see some of the stuff I sell. Uh, our last thing actually sold this morning on an offer to Liker and... It's this Victoria's Secret Nude Tan No Wire Bra, size 36D. It sold for $16 with a shipping discount. So I only made $10.62. And it took 51 days to sell. Um, I had actually lowered this for closet clear out. And then someone liked it. I lowered it like last week, I think. Um, and then someone liked it. I hadn't changed the price back. So I did like a 10% off at 16 I think it was at 18 and um and they accepted it so it is what it is it's gone I made I made my ten dollars so that is all of the sales for the last two weeks and um <laughs> I'm glad I could do something for you Patrick <laughs> uh 
I turned off football because I don't want to watch football. <laughs> it was a nice bra. I've got a lot of bras. I've got a lot of bras I need to list still. Um, I've gotten a bunch recently and they've gotten a lot of bikini tops as well. So I do need to get all that stuff listed. Plus get stuff ready for our sale on January 26th. So if you're, like I said earlier, Glamma said it in the chat too, uh, girls night in, uh, a Valentine's type sale, lingerie, bras, swimwear, cute Valentine's outfits. I've got like a really pretty long sleeve belt, pink tie dye velvet dress that I'm going to be selling probably. Um, some other things like that. Definitely check us out. Um, it's going to be a good time. It's on Treasure Noir's live channel. So, um, and then I might start doing a couple things on this channel. It just depends on time and stuff. And if I like, will stop hurting myself and keep stop getting sick. Um, I'm hoping to start next week, a uh, new, the first in a series of new videos on how to use Poshmark. Um, so I've got it in my head. I just have to film it. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, I I don't like wearing bras, but I'll sell them. It's like one of my number one sellers. So, I can't, can't diss bras, especially when they're Ben's bras because they cost like nothing, as I like to say. <laughs> oh, do I have any in here? I don't think so. This... If you want to check out my setup, my really ghetto setup of where I'm at right now, you can go to my Instagram, Dr. Q DVM. Um, I literally have my computer stacked on a bunch of Ikea bags full of clothes. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, is Patrick, are you going to be moderating for us that night? That'll be fun if you are. Um, Yep, January 26th, and I'm sure it'll come up multiple times, and check us, check out on Instagram, there'll probably be info there as well on it. That is my sales for the last two weeks, so, <laughs> oh God. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> It'll be fun, really fun if Vera made an appearance too, announcing by Vera. But, you know, that is what it is. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a good weekend. It is icy here and snowing still, looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's still snowing. Um. So Remy is refusing to go outside because his feet get cold. But I don't think I have anything else. I've got, uh, I am in the process of filming the second part of my animal investigation from Patrick's uh, comic book. I'm halfway done. So that should hopefully be coming out soon. And... Um, I do not have a haul coming up because I did not get to go thrifting yesterday because I was sick. Um, but there are some other things coming out soon. I may do another throwback Thursday. Um, yeah, my dog is very, well, he's small too, so he gets cold very easily. But um, he's pretty spo spoiled as well. <coughs> <coughs> All right. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, send me a DM for anything that you've seen, like on any of my videos that you might be interested in buying because I'm open to offers. And um, yes, hopefully next video, uh, you know, I only do these what solds every two weeks just because it's a lot. So in two weeks will be the next what sold video, I think. Yeah, hopefully I'm supposed to be going on a cruise in a couple weeks. So let me check real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, two weeks will be in the next video. 
So um, I hope you guys have a great one and I will see you next time for my next video. And remember to help control the pet population and have your pet spayed or neutered. It's important. And I'll do it for you if you're in North Carolina <laughs> or South Carolina. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good day. <laughs>